YouTube with another review and today I have something special. I got Tartarus Terminators. Uh, these are a new type of Terminator or let's say not so new but new to 40k and finally they got some rules to be played here and I'll show you the weapons options, their profile, how to use them and especially what do they do in terms of uh, Terminator classes, because there is now four different classes of Space Marine Vanilla Terminators. Alright, let's start right away. So Tatra's Terminator squad is 175 points, which is normal. Unless you're taking Storm Sheets, then it's more expensive, but uh, 175 is also the price for Cataphracti and normal Terminator squads. Uh, the weapons profile is the exact same. They are a basic 4-4-4-4, one wound initiative 4 to attack, leadership 9 to plus 5 plus plus. So uh, weaker than the Cataphracti in the inborn save and uh, obviously the sergeant is a character. Nothing special here. They have and they share no no fear, chapter tactics and combat squads which is the usual terminator stuff. Um, they also gain deep strike relentless and bulky from their armor which is obviously included in their war gear. The Tartarus terminator armor is a specific type of Terminator armor and uh, they are equipped with combi bolters and power fists. So very very similar to the Cataphracti Terminator um, in that sense. They don't have stone purposeful though so they are a little bit different in that regard. And then the real difference comes in the options because um, they can take five additional models per 35 uh, as everybody else. They can uh, take two Lightning Claws or a Chain Fist on any model, which is nice. Uh, lightning Claws are for free, Chain Fist costs five points, obviously nice, but we will see later that this, that may not be even necessary. The good thing is they can take a Grenade Harness, which is awesome, ten points. I'll talk about what it does later. Um, and it doesn't have to be on the Sergeant, it just says one model. That's a big difference. Uh, for every five models you can drop the combi bolter for a heavy flamer, which is normal, everybody can do that. Or a reaper auto cannon, which nobody so far can do. So 25 points to gain a reaper auto cannon. Uh, the starter star sergeant has a bunch of options. He usually has a mastercrafted power sword, but he can take a power fist, chain fist, or lightning claw, or pair of lightning claws for free. And that includes a chain fist, so awesome, that's five points less you have to pay. And it specifically lists that one as for free for him. So that's nice. Obviously, if you take the pair of lightning claws, you drop your combi bolter. And if you don't, you can exchange that combi bolter with a warkite charger for seven points or a plasma blaster for 15 points. So he can be kitted out very, very differently. And that's a huge difference to other Terminators. They have the usual dedicated transports, Land Raider, Land Raider Crusader, and Land Raider Redeemer. So nothing specific here. And uh, they work the same with their Land Raiders respective because they have Oki and you can fit um, 6, 5, or um, a bunch more into the 16 one, so 8 models. No, no difference here really at all. But that the sergeant has so many options, that's a huge difference to every other Terminator squad because nobody can do that as excessive as he can. Um, weapons, the combi bolter is basic range 24, swing 4, AP5, rapid fire, twin linked. So it, in terms of storm bolter, it is uh, less effective at high range, but at close range, obviously, it gains twin linked over the other stuff. And since you're usually deep striking Terminators, um, the combi bolter mostly is an upgrade, in my opinion, and I also enjoyed that one on the Cataphracti guys. Uh, obviously, they have Relentless, so they can still charge afterwards, and it doesn't matter if it's rapid fire or not. The Plasma Buster is a new option for the Sergeant. It's range 18, so a little bit lower than the normal Plasma Gun. Uh, strength 7 AP2, which is normal, but it is Assault 2 gets hot. So essentially, you're trading a little bit of max range for way closer rapid firing range and um, in general a sort two profile in that sense. Um, gets hot will hurt you because you don't have any rerolls but then again you are in a terminator armor so two plus uh, deals pretty well with plasma damage. You are very unlikely to lose one. It's basically one out of 36 chance. 
Uh, it's 15 points, so it is costly, but not as costly as you would take, because a plasma gun on a normal guy is 15 points as well. And it's better than a combi plasma, because you can keep using it. And uh, Swing 7 into rear armor can hurt even vehicles, which is nice. And you can take this in addition to having a uh, Reaper Auto Cannon or Flamer or whatever, because it's on the Sergeant. So essentially you can take another ranged weapon, if you want to call it like that. Um, he can also go with the Volkite Charger. It's range 15, so pretty low. Strength 5, which is good. AP 5, meh. Assault 2. And Deflag Rate. So basically, as soon as somebody uh, cause, you cause unsafe wounds, you get additional hits from the uh, Volkai Charger. So essentially, it's made to um, kill stuff that, that, ha that fails armor saves very quickly, so it has very low or no armor save and then you can keep piling on the wounds but uh, it's not really effective because you only have it on one model and it's still uh, 7 points. I don't know, I, d I don't think I would run it and um, it seems a little bit off in the entire profile because the rest is pretty decent. Uh, then the Reaper Auto Cannon, which you can take in 1 out of 5 models is uh, range 36, so a little bit lower than a normal Auto Cannon but it uh, has two shots twin linked, which is different, and otherwise strength 7 and AP4 are pretty much unchanged to a normal outer cannon. Uh, now that one is a little bit interesting, because I think the Plasma Buster will do a better job, but again you can take it in addition. So you have the options between a Heavy Flamer and a Reaper Auto Cannon, and I think the Reaper is probably the uh, superior choice there because it can deal with more targets than the Heavy Flamer, but just in case you need to deal with hordes, which these guys can, um, I'll talk about that later, uh, the Heavy Flamer will be superior. Um, other than that, I mean it's good against light vehicles, again, but you don't really re need the range. If you're at 36 range with Terminators, you did something wrong most likely, but again, you might take it, it's 25 points, it's pretty costly in terms of uh, what it can actually do, but uh, depends on what you, uh, purpose you have for your Terminators. And then finally the Grenade uh, Harness, which you can also take on Cataphractes, it's uh, range 8, so a grenade, <laughs> strength 3, AP dash, assault 2, blast. Essentially it uh, throws two frag grenades, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, but that's not the important part. The important part is if you are equipped with a grenade harness, you and your entire unit uh, get full initiative when you're charging through terrain. And that is obviously really, really nice. Uh, it is 10 points, but still I think well worth it, and you can take it on any model so it can't get challenged out. Um, you can feel them as a lead choice for a Space Marine faction, so not for it or the other factions, but not only for the Space Marine Codex. It doesn't say so specifically, but the Space Marine faction is not Blood Angels, for example, because they have the Blood Angels faction. It's a little bit weird. Um, Tatra's Terminator squads can replace any Terminator or Terminator Assault squads in all detachments and formations with the Space Marine faction, so that's really good. So you can include them in all the good stuff. You can put them in the first uh, company, you can put them in the Strike Force Ultra or whatnot. Uh, pretty much the same as Cataphracti Terminators, they are completely uh, interchangeable, which is nice. Sometimes you don't want four troops of uh, assault terminators and now you have the options to at least uh, fill a little bit around with that. And then the differences, which is the obvious thing because uh, we are comparing terminators here. Uh, they don't have any Thunderhammer Storm Sheet options like the uh, assault terminators. So they always will go with the 5 plus in one save and uh, they have the power fist f to have the same profile of the Thunder Hammer um, but they're losing the durability but they are much cheaper. Uh, you can take the grenade harness on anyone which is obviously a big upgrade in terms of um, lightning claws because terminator squads and assault terminator squads could not get uh, lightning claws before before to work because they are charging through terrain, they're losing their initiative, which really sucks. And um, then with this upgrade, you basically make lightning claws way, way better at doing what they are supposed to do, charging stuff and killing stuff and then uh, winning close combat. Um, Cataphracti Terminators could get grenade harnesses before, but only the sergeant could take it. So if the sergeant gets challenged out, you lose your grenade harness. This time it's on a random dude, so you have to be careful with him, but um, there's no specific 
targeting stuff that you can do from the, as you could with the sergeant. And uh, obviously the sergeant here has a bunch of upgrades already, so if he dies it's much more painful uh, if he has a grenade harness as well. So that's good. Um, you have the chain fist for free. Nobody else can do that. You have to pay five points per chain fist on any other terminator. So you essentially have a good upgrade against uh, walkers and vehicles on the basic sergeant, which is awesome. I would probably run that every time just to have the option. Uh, strength eight armor bane is always really good. Essentially, you have melter bombs on crack because you get the three attacks on the charge. Uh, you can go sweeping advance. Why? Because the Terminator armor does not uh, forbid you to sweeping advance. So that adds to the point of using these guys with claws because you can essentially deal a lot of damage at initiative and then overrun the rest, which is really good against orcs and so on or something. Uh, not necessarily orcs because they have the stuff there, but you know, against tower and whatnot, you can just uh, annihilate squads in assault. And um, that's something no other Terminator unit can do, because the Cataphractes are slow and purposeful, so they can't do anything like that. And the other ones have Terminator armor that forbids sweeping advancing specifically. Um, the Sergeant, obviously, as I already told you, has ranged weapon options, which no other Sergeant really has, apart from a Cataphracty that can take the grenade harness, which is mostly a bad thing, because you don't want that on the Sergeant. Um, that's awesome. So this guy basically adds you to fire to your firepower if you want him, uh, and you can equip him however you like. He's basically he can kill anything in an assault because he has the options to take anything uh, for free. And then the ranged weapons can deal with vehicles, with heavy infantry and whatnot. And then the Reaper Auto Cannon is a unique one to the Tartarus because no other uh, faction can take them but they lose the assault cannon option that the other ones have and also obviously the um, rocket launches which is both not that good because um, I think the reaper outer cannon is um, pretty much the same as the assault cannon but more expensive and uh, the rocket option is pretty nice would have been nice to have that one plus the Plasma, and then you can annihilate squads from deep striking, which is pretty nice. Uh, also good against vehicles, and you can shoot that one in addition to everything else. But I mean, this is a uh, this is supposed to be in a more assaulty version um, that is good at close range shooting, but um, does not have the options for anything else, which makes sense. I completely agree with that. So I think all in all, they are for the assault purpose. They are. Uh, definitely superior to most of the choices. They are a little bit more squishy than the other ones, but they um, have way more flexibility in terms of how you want to kit them out. And uh, as I said, they can replace very expensive assault terminator uh, squads in formations, which is awesome because uh, terminators have one big problem that's their point costs. And these guys are essentially terminators having the same issues uh, in terms of mobility and survivability per points, but they have uh, some options at least to deal with other stuff like no sweeping advances or the unusability of lightning claws, which is uh, not often a big deal, but in terms of how you want to use them and their flexibility, it is a big deal. So it makes the unit that is flexible even more flexible, and I like that. Um, in the end, would I fear them over something else? Uh, that depends highly on what, what you want to do. For example, the Cataphracty version is definitely better for um, trying to tank up. Take those on the Iron Hands chapter tactics and with a 4 plus they will be doing wonders. Um, Stone Purpose War will hinder them a little bit, but if you can stick them on stuff and uh, give them OPSEC and Ultramarine Squad, for example, they will stay longer than the other Terminator versions. Uh, this Terminator version can hog cover and still profit from their normal assault stuff. So I think um, if you want to run these as Ultramarines, for example, um, you will get some good benefit uh, for camping on objectives. But um, since they already have trending weapons and so on, uh, you could also run with Raven Guard, for example, to get your 2 plus cover safe sitting there. But I don't like Terminators sitting somewhere. I don't think that's a good idea most of the time. So I'm not sure if the 
if this version is so much better than the other ones because the problem still remains is the delivery. How do you get them to the front? Um, ventilators do not work very well. The flyers take too long to come in and it takes three rounds to make them go anywhere and be combat effective. Deep striking is fine but leaves them as sitting ducks for one turn and uh, in that case I think the this version has the better options with shooting which I like. So essentially you could use them as a distraction kind of effects that would take out uh, some kind of vehicle in the back, maybe a vindicator something like that and uh, then try to, to make back their points by tanking the next ensuing shooting phase it's going to be entirely focused on them or um, make leave them alone and then they can make some charges going or something like that. I don't know. They are a little bit uh, specific to use like every other Terminator squad but these have some superior options. So in my opinion they are an upgrade. The only thing I don't like is their visuals but that is my personal preference. Uh, some people love the 30k look. I do not. Uh, I would run them as normal Terminators uh, even if I had the models of the Tartarus version. Um, but in general I like Terminators and that uh, makes them more usable. So that's awesome. Alright, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It was a pretty short one this time, but uh, there's not much to talk about other than that, because they are a very similar unit to others. But I hope you had a good comparison and see whether or not you would like to feed these guys uh, in the end. Alright, that's it for me, and happy foregaming.